Time now for the recurve men's team gold medal match. It's Korea. You have an incredibly strong team going up against the home nation, the USA, who are hurting from well, underperformance at the recent Tokyo Olympic Games. Let's go down to the field of play for the introductions. Well, it's a strong lineup for uh, the USA. Brady Ellison, four times Olympian, 2012 team silver medalist, 2016 individual bronze medalist, and Jack Williams, who competed at the recent Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games with Brady Ellison. They teamed up with a youngster, a newbie to the team, Matthew Noffel, but the USA are not shy of putting in youngsters. Jack Williams is a new entry to the team just a couple of years ago now is a stalwart but they're going up against the Olympic champions Kim Woo Jim the 17 year old Kim J Duk and O Jin Hyek who has battled through injury to remain in the game Korea facing the USA for gold in the Rico men's team competition and it's Kim Woo Jin to get us underway Again, starting a little bit to the left. We've seen that from some other matches already this morning. Perhaps conditions here slightly different from the practice field. <laughs> it's safe to say he's pretty pumped for this match. So often we see that first end, so quick adjustment to the site. Oh, Jin Yek, 40 years young, was the first Korean man to claim an Olympic gold medal. Picked it up in London 2012 in the individual competition. Going up against arguably the archer who's had the greatest season of all time, Brady Ellison, starting with a 10 back, disappointing Olympic Games for him. Yeah, it really was. You know, Brady's won everything. It's just that elusive gold Olympic medal. Still hasn't got it yet, but I'm sure he's going to be on the road to Paris. Jack Williams, nine points. Yeah. 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 Score for his first set so far. Square. Sighters, you'd have to say, for each of the six archers. So Kim Wujin back up on the line. from that front arm I think he knew it was going to break left start as a seven possibly an eight so 54 straight 55 for Korea as you can see gettable 
I say, Brady Allison is shooting fast in the second trio of USA shots. And he drops into the eight. It sounded to me like some, it hit something and just went low. There was just a funny noise, but whether it, just a little reaction like it had hit somewhere, whether he got a bit of contact in his chest or his arm. Matthew not even wearing an arm guard, which is unusual for a recover. Well, between the Mallison and all for the Olympic substitute, and I can let this one go. That William was finishing things off with a 10 himself. Uh, the measure will happen, of course, but it does mean Korea have started this one uh, with the first two set points. Nikki, initial thoughts here? Yeah, a bit of a shaky start for the USA. Um, you know, like we said, Matthew Offal's come in, um, a new archer to this, really, an unknown 22-year-old. He's shot two arrows pr pretty close together. I don't think we could quite see them because they were behind another arrow that was already in target, but I think they're pretty close together, 10, 11 o'clock high left and I keep saying I wish these archers would listen to me when you come onto this field the first arrows are going to go high left that seems to be the common denominator and there should be someone from your team out there watching the match before so you don't lose these points but you know let's just see if they can settle in we know how strong career are well firstly Nikki I, you know I tell everyone they should listen to everything you say all the time <laughs> of course uh, but the second thing my second question actually is about, about your board. man the 17 year old kid Jay Duke seven. You called it yourself. He's up for it. He's pumped for it. He throws down a 10 to start with, and then the fifth arrow, his second arrow, hits a 7, the one that's subject to, to this measure. Did he get himself overhyped up too early? Yeah, it, it's unusual. Obviously, just a generalisation of culture. We often see the Koreans just slightly more laid back, slightly more quiet, but we have seen him before very excited, very pumped, and there he goes again. So, you know, that's going to be a good match for these. American team, they're often very vocal as well. Just so his teammates just saying, look, you don't have to worry about that, you, you stay calm. 17 years old, he should be allowed to show some emotion. The wind picks up as the start of set two gets underway. Brady Ellison on the line for the USA pops it into the nine. Communication between the two. Just a little reset. Something wasn't quite right, so he's just drawn again. We've got two minutes to shoot these six arrows as a team. Oh. He's pretty quick, isn't he, no, Jin Yet? For a 40 year old, he, he's quick. there's not too much fuss with his draw. No, I mean, generally, again, generally speaking, the Koreans have good timing. They're pretty quick. They're well known for that. And uh, two minutes for six arrows to about 20 seconds a piece is a lot of time. Really see Brady shaking a bit there, couldn't you? And down into the eight. How much pressure must he be feeling after such a successful 2019? Arguably the greatest... Uh, season for any archer ever uh, to then well, have the delay that we've all faced and the pressure of not getting the medals that we're expecting of him I wonder if that 
just a big hoodoo for him. Yeah, you know, it's only been a couple of few weeks and you know it's quite a hard thing, isn't it, to come back and straight back into a competition of this magnitude, you know, another world championship medal at stake here that he wants. Jack Williams perhaps the glue holding that USA team together at the moment. Finishes with a fifty-five. It's going to be a nine for Kimberly Jim. That's flown a lot further left than one would expect. Yeah, just discussing it now, aren't they? Whether the conditions are at play. You know, you just tell your teammate, shot a good shot, something's moved me off there. So, again, good communication with that. But another left nine. to draw level with a nine here for O. Nine, take the set. Here's a nine for a 56 and the set points to draw, sorry, to push Korea further into the lead here. Now, four nil and the USA looking a little bit in trouble. Nikki, discuss. Yeah, they've, they've just got to get themselves back into the game. You know, like we talked about, Brady is the big guy on this team, the experienced guy, uh, all these Olympics and medals, but not had a great uh, experience in Tokyo, and he's got to pick himself up now. He's got to put all that behind him and lead this team into what is just another set. You know, it's all to play for. There's no reason why they can't come and take two points off Korea, but look at the body language. You know, yeah, and look at Jack Williams. He's, well, he's trying to keep his composure, but he's having a really good look at Brady Ellison. Huge amounts of pressure on Ellison, but Korea, look, 4-0 up. Uh, they've got their youngster, Kim Jae-duk, 17 years wow. old in the team. There he is, bellowing out the war cry for the Korean archery team. Teamed up with uh, st solid and steady Kim Woo Jin, who leads out the line for Korea, and Oh Jin Hyuk, who has delayed his retirement. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure then if he was almost yawning. He's so relaxed in the background there, isn't he? He's, just, he's so reliable. Um, but yeah, America have got tennis around. They've got their own Korean in the box there. Kisik Lee, their coach. You know, can he guide them to this world championship? Brady Ellison to get set number three underway. USA up against it, against the Koreans. Oh. Solid nine from Brady. Not happy with it. You know, he needs more. Trying to guide his teammate to do better. Eight points. Too confident, gone up high. Opportunity now for Korea. These three arrows could actually finish off. The Americans. You fancy that a 29 may well be enough to break at the US team. They start with a 10. See the concentration in his eyes. The nine. Well, there is that twenty nine. I think even if the USA put in a thirty here, Korea shooting so well now and so dialed in that. This gold medal is theirs for the taking. Yeah. 
That's the USA's fifth ten in the gold medal match. Yeah, Brady talking him through. It's good to hear those words of your teammate in the background. Nervous shot though. You can see that release just wasn't as sharp as we want it to be. Just dropped low into the eight. He's just dropped two points in this match. But finishes the USA on 54. A five point cushion here for Korea. They're never going to drop five points in three hours, are they? I would think it would be highly unlikely. I know anything is possible, but the quality here is immense. And a finish there of true champions, a 57-4 Korea, and they have done this 6-0 in three sets did they need the fourth set no thanks that's enough korea are the champions of the world well there you have it nikki uh i mean look there are two sides to to every tale um both very very clear out there korea dominant strong throughout the team uh, they're showing generations three generations if you like of on archers uh, who Jin Hyek there delaying his retirement due to injury uh, being as, just as strong as the 17 year old in the team and a, a USA team clearly hurting from um, an under par Tokyo Olympic Games it's two sides of a, a very rough coin if you're on the USA side on home soil yeah I thought you know they'd, especially being the home um, world championships you know USA would take that um, sort of energy from the home sort of nation and you know, build from there but they just haven't brought it up there today they just haven't been able to get over that hurdle and you can almost feel the disappointment still there um, but yeah great performance from Korea a little blip on the first set which USA really on another day would have dealt better with and got straight into the game but just too strong for the USA today yeah we take a look back I mean there, there weren't so many massive drop points a few eights in there for the USA but just the consistency you have to say of one man, Brady Ellison, not where we expect it. We understand why. And then the newbie perhaps performing as uh, one would expect at a first world title match. But Korea just so strong. Three generations, if you like, or three times of Korean archery uh, on the field of play today uh, with uh, Kim Ji-Duk, uh, the current as well.